Hey guys, we're gonna have a look at another arcade conversion for the ST, but not from Ocean. For once, uh, nice with some variation here. And the game is Volfide, published by Empire Software in uh, 91 and developed by Oxford Digital Enterprises. And here we can see the US ad. Looks very similar to the UK one, but I don't think I ever saw that back in the day. It's a fairly late game in 91, so I wasn't paying that much attention maybe, but don't think I ever saw it in uh, the ST magazines I read at the time. And the game is of course a conversion of the Taito arcade game released in uh, 1989. And apparently this game is a successor to Kix. Just adds more impressive visuals and uh, cool sound effects. And the game was designed by legendary Taito game designer Fukio Mitsuji. Who also worked on uh, Bubble Bobble and Rainbow Islands and uh, some other Taito arcade games. He did some amazing games. Sadly he passed away in 2008. Way too early. I have a short interview with him on my channel that is basically a remastered interview from Taito Legends. I will put a link in the description if you want to check it out. Well worth uh, having a look at. And the Japanese uh, gaming magazine uh, Game Machine listed Volfide in their September 15th 89 issue as uh, the ninth most successful table arcade unit of uh, that month. And uh, it's a pretty fun but very challenging arcade game. Well worth uh, trying out. But hey, enough said about that. Let's uh, dive into the ST version. And this is a cheated version I'm running, but I'm not going to use unlimited lives just yet. I want to find out how far I can get. So we can actually start at different levels. That's interesting. How do I do that? I think I press fire, right? Yeah, not sure how we do that, but we have difficulty um, modes as well. Should we go with... Now let's go with normal. Title se oh, we can turn off the title sequence. Cool. And we can turn on... Or of the sound effects. Hmm, maybe there's music. Yeah, anyway, let's just uh, start it up. Check out the intro. Pretty much captured the intro from the arcade. Even got some nice samples here. And of course... Uh, Game is running a little bit more sluggish than the arcade, but honestly, pretty impressive this, just already. And if I remember correctly, I think kicks, enemies would kill you, I think immediately if they touched the line you were making, but not so much here. Here they will kind of trigger uh, an event, like a thing that follows you. Let me show you. Oh damn, oh you bastard dragon. Get away from me. I'll try and show you again. Oh damn. Come on, touch me. Oh damn. We get various power-ups like speed. Oh, yeah, you can see there. They kind of trigger some sort of uh, balls, of course, that kind of gets you. But I'm just going to restart because I ballsed up pretty badly. And they kind of changed the orientation of the um, game a bit, as you can see here. Uh, the arcade game was, of course, a portrait mode. This is landscape. Makes perfect sense. And we got lasers. We can blast the filthy aliens. Come on, get get into the line of fire here. Oh, I missed somehow. Amazing. Get a fair amount of points for them as well. I don't think we can fire... No, 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 no! I thought I was going to get you, you little shit. And the enemies have an annoying tendency, just as in the arcade, to kind of go chasing after you. I think in kicks they were a little bit more randomized. And as we circle these things, we get extra stuff and points and all kinds of wonderful things. And that was dumb. Oh, I didn't realize. I didn't know that the bullets would do that, you absolute bastard. But I remember playing a similar game. What's it called? Maniacs, I think it was called. It was uh, a Kicks clone as well that I really, really liked. It was, I would say, maybe a little bit more easy than um, Kicks and Volfight, I would say. I haven't played this one before, if anyone's wondering. Oh, God. I think you need to get 80% at least of the area before you can finish the level. And 
nice sound effects. Very faithful conversion. I'm really impressed by this. And I got just about 80%, so that's the lowest amount of bonus for me. Ah, oh, yeah, this is really faithful. It looks re uh, I thought I was going to get that. It looks really, really faithful. Visuals are really nice. I mean, Kicks, the original arcade game, I think it was much more stylistic, very much, you know, much simpler visuals, very much abstract. Here we got lovely sci fi visuals. No, 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 no. Oh, yeah. So let's turn off the title sequence and the sound effects and see if we get some nice music. Nope. Just complete silence. I think I'm going to restart because I do like the sound effects. And that dragon. Come on, dragon dude. Get away. Get away. Don't hang around here. Let's see if we can get this. Hmm. Be, uh, only points, but hey. We get a speed up as well, which is awesome. Very, very useful indeed. There's something quite satisfying about kicks. Or kicks clones, I should say. I really rather enjoy them. Even though they can be balls hard. Okay, okay, okay. Let me try and box you in, sir. Okay. And you do have to press fire to... Um, start drawing a line so that's pretty nice I think maybe it was the same thing in kicks and things are heating up pretty quickly I'm getting pretty damn difficult and whatever the hell that thing is that box it looks like the box from um, or the, yeah what's it called from Hellraiser <laughs> flipping flying nightmare no 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 and yeah you see how they track me bunch of bastards do not appreciate it one bit. Oh no! Oh, I was holding the button. When will I ever learn? I think that was a speed up, right? Yes, it was. It's getting pretty tricky, but the speed up really helps, and I'm pushing down. Why am I not going down? I wouldn't mind a weapon right now. Oh, what am I mm, doing? Got plenty of lives though. Slowly but surely. No! Oh, they're so wobbly and back and forth. Maybe I should enable infinite lives because I'm curious about the higher levels. It's quite tricky shooting these little bastards actually. Oh, what? How am I missing? <laughs> okay, okay, guys. Take that, you filthy bunch of scum. Here we go. No more filthy enemies. Oh, again, I forgot to stop pressing fire. Sometimes I just do that without reflecting on it. Yeah, this is an excellent conversion, I must say. Very well done. And a lot of fun too, so yeah. Oh, sometimes I get stuck on the corners there. I can't quite cut the corners as tightly as I'd like to. Oh, no! Oh, come on. <laughs> Give me something useful, please. Oh, got all the enemies. Oh, no! I wasn't paying attention to the hell cube. I liked how the big enemies take pauses sometimes, you know, to do some sort of special attack. Gives you time to... Uh, do stuff. I'm finding it a bit hard hitting certain directions on my clicky joystick. It's a really nice joystick, but... <laughs> oh yeah, talk to the hand. Or hands even. Yeah, I would definitely have been into this back in the day. Absolutely. No. Would you stop following me? <laughs> That's so annoying. Come on, leave me be for a bit. Just for a tiny amount of time here. Oh, again I press fire without thinking. Ah, oh, grabby mittens everywhere. Could you just give me something? Some power up. Oh. Now oh, here we are. Oh, and they just disappear so quickly. Oh, 
Oh, that was tight. For some reason, the game just will not give me any power-ups whatsoever. And I'm just nibbling away <laughs> at the uh, background here. I think the enemies in Kicks were a little bit more random. They wouldn't necessarily just keep following you around. It's a little bit frustrating in Volfight, I must say. They are really, really determined. Thousand points? I don't want points. I want nuclear weapons or something, please. And I gotta say, the game runs really well. Even those big monster sprites move around pretty smoothly. I mean, it's not as smooth as the arcade, but absolutely fine. Oh, I didn't see the hand. Oh, these hands, they are stalking me. Getting near now, just a tiny bit more. Yes, finally, 80% exactly. It's quite tricky, but really satisfying, and just as the arcade game, a lot of fun to play. Gotcha! Wish I'd known about this one back in the day. Oh, these flies are pretty... pretty big. They slow down the game quite signif significantly. Oh man, the projectiles here are really killing my poor frame rate, but hey. Makes the game a little bit easier. Oh my god, what the hell are you? Mutated Jars Revenge Fly? Give me the box! What's in the box? 100 points! And now there's no more boxes! Okay, okay, I get it. I get it! You like touching my line. It's very satisfying, right? These flies are slightly less annoying than the uh, enemies from the last stage. They were just unbelievably annoying. The hands, you know? They would just not ever give up. Let's try and build some walls here. Use some strategies. Okay, we can we can do this. We can trap these bastards in the yes. <laughs> Slowly getting the hang of this. I don't think we have any other enemies right now, so we can just focus on murdering the big fat fly robot bastard. Wow, there's something I want. Give it here, give it here. Time stop, awesome source. Gotcha! <laughs> best best percentage so far, 91. Okay, I'm I'm really enjoying this. Let's just have a look at stage five before we call it quits, because I'm really rather enjoying this. Ah, uh, and all the good stuff is in the middle. Ah, uh, too slow, way too slow. Come on, get in there, get in there. Yeah, gotcha. I love that feeling when you box one of these little bastards in. It's so incredibly satisfying. Get in there. You bunch of ass hats! Ha <laughs> ha Oh no! I didn't deserve that! Ah, uh, nor that! <laughs> yeah, I was slowly getting the hang of this. Maybe we can get these, say yes please. Okay. Awesome! Oh, he's tiny now, let's just... Uh, okay. I'm gonna get you, you bastard. Take that, you fool! Just a quick glimpse of stage six. And uh, yeah, this looks really, really nice. And with that, I think I'm done. I'm just gonna have a look at uh, one review of the game because that was all I could find. So uh, see you in the review section. And uh, the one for ST Games gave the game an overall of 88% and uh, they wrote, a faithful conversion of a hugely addictive coin-up. Forget the fact that there are only 16 screens in all. The combination of three difficulty levels, the urge to crack your high score and the addictiveness of the basic gameplay make this a winner. And uh, yeah, I can't argue with that. This is totally worth 88%. A really, really solid conversion and a really fun game as well. And it's not an ocean conversion. And with that, I think I'm done for today and uh, hope you enjoyed this quick peek at Volfide and uh, thanks for watching and all that stuff. And as always, hope to catch you next time. Cheers.